All right, folks, welcome back. Today marks the first day of the last day of winter. First day of spring begins tomorrow. So we can say goodbye to the cold air for the most part, but today's a cold one for sure. Winter going out with a bang. And uh, we come in for tomorrow, the first day of spring. Also coming in with a bang. Upper 60s and sunshine on the way for Tuesday. A good looking day there. Now this morning, last day of winter, it's not going to be lining up quite as nice. Okay, we're cold this morning. You start to see the first signs of sunrise starting to peek above the horizon. There's some light off toward the east from our tower camera looking good, but it is not feeling that good outside. 25 degrees with a northwest wind at 8 miles an hour, making it feel like the teens right now. 25 in Springfield, 28 West Plains, upper 20s to mid 20s, pretty much all across the area of 25 in Clinton. Those wind speeds again out of the northwest this morning. Not bad, 5 to 10 miles an hour. There will be a little breezy later on today, though. It's going to keep that chill in the air through the afternoon. Feels like 16 degrees in Springfield right now and in Rolla. Feels like 17 in Clinton, 22 Lake Ozark. A little better farther south where you get into the kind of the Ozark Plateau area. Feels like 28, though, still in Branson. Feels like 25, folks in Harrison. It's cold. Don't forget the jacket this morning. You'll need it all day today. Maybe even the heavier coat might be needed as well. Northwest winds coming in between 10 to 20 miles an hour all day long before finally breaking up a little bit for this evening. The good news is found in today is it's going to be a sunny day outside, so it'll look nice. Not going to feel that great, though. Again, mid 40s for air temperatures. Wind chills likely in the 30s to 40s all day today. So still hang on to that chill through and through. Zooming out, we can see the big area of low pressure over the Great Lakes. This is swirling around some Canadian air, bringing that into the plains in the Midwest. That's going to gradually lift to the north and east. As we go through today and tomorrow, we're looking at a west wind that will help us out a little bit, get to the 60s tomorrow. And then by the time we get into the weekend, or Wednesday, Thursday, into Friday even, a big area of spin down here over the southwest. Doesn't look like much, but just enough energy to produce a little bit of rain shower activity for us here in the Ozarks for Wednesday and Thursday of this week. Looking at future cast, sunshine filled stays for today and tomorrow. So no clouds in sight for today or tomorrow. Both looking nice outside tomorrow, of course, being the better day. Quite warm there in the upper 60s. We're watching for rain when that storm system comes from the west to the east. Spotty showers, not a lot of moisture with it, okay? Just a little bit of moisture there, a tenth of an inch or less. We get into Friday, I think we're dry. Then by Saturday and Sunday, more rain moves on in with the better chances of rain, potentially widespread rain, lining up for Sunday into Monday of next week. So rainfall the next five days. So through this work week, looks like pretty minimal amounts, maybe a tenth of an inch to two tenths of an inch. Uh, pretty isolated at best with a spotty shower system coming through Wednesday into Thursday. All right, so for today, last day of winter going out cold in the mid 40s. Overnight tonight, one more hard freeze on the way in the upper 20s. Tuesday, first day of spring, upper 60s. We're going in the right way. Upper 60s again for Wednesday. A few clouds in the skies Wednesday with that rain chance moving in Wednesday late into Thursday morning. Thursday looks all right around 60. And then we're still in the mid to upper 60s to go into the weekend with another chance of rain beginning next week. Yeah, definitely the coldest day of the week. But hey, look at the rest of that seven day. It looks pretty good out there. We're in the 60s the rest of the way this week with our first day of spring being uh, this week as well. So love to see it, Tom. Thanks.